What's up, guys? This is Devin from Project Sax. We're back with another Project Sax video. Today, we're going to be talking about the H4N and how the saxophone plays with the H4N. How is it picked up by this mic? How is it recorded? We're going to actually go through a couple of techniques here. You know, dynamics, articulation, different types of uh, toning, subtoning, you know, and then you have some bell tones going on there. And, you know, some dynamics and things of that nature to really let the musicians and sound people hear exactly how it picks up an instrument like the saxophone. The way this video is going to be set up, you're going to have me doing some, um, some different techniques, some different things, and I'll be playing, I'll be playing, and then eventually I'll have the DSLR mic compared to the H4M mic. DSLR, digital single lens reflex camera, or, you know, those big cameras that you see everybody using for photography nowadays. Um, also, this mic can also be comparable to a cell phone mic or any other small device mic because usually in most cases where consumers get confused those smaller mics don't really serve you justice when it comes to playing your instrument or doing you know anything with loud instruments in general it will distort it will clip and do things of that nature that's why this mic is so good we'll get into that later here's the mic you'll see the comparison at the end and me playing in the middle in the beginning all right check this out guys The sound quality of the H4N is very, very good. Now, this is known to be a field recording mic. Now, it has a mic on it, which is very, very good for live recording and things of that nature. But it's actually also meant to be a field recorder. So, if you need fan power to power your mics, you can do these through these inputs at the bottom. And you can also record in four channel instead of the two channels that I'm recording today. The reason that I'm recording in two channels is because when you originally get the mic, this is all you have. It doesn't come with an extra, you know, XLR uh, 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 mic itself. It's just it comes with its own its its own mic field recorder, and you just get the unit. You don't get an extra mic. But if you have an H4N and you like recording your saxophone live and live recording with this thing, you might want to think about upgrading your mic in the long run to something like a cardio condenser mic, something like maybe an AKG 414, or you know uh, maybe a Shure mic that's phantom powered, something that has a cardio condenser. Now, depending on whether you like the the ringing of the horn, you will get a smaller diaphragm that responds a lot more. So this is the H4N recorder, guys. This is Devin from Project Sass. I wish you guys good sound. And get this mic because it's not just a mic. It's more than a mic. And it has good quality if you just needed a mic. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Thank mm -hmm. you. 